What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson Fury. The news that maybe some of you guys heard from my live stream last night. Appreciate the guys, the, the people that came on. It was a good stream. And I mentioned Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury needs plastic surgery. Okay, so this is the official video to talk a little bit more in depth about that. You know, uh, his promoter, Frank Warren, says that the Wilder versus Fury 2 is highly likely to be delayed due to required plastic surgery to facial damage. Okay, if it doesn't heal well, the fight may have to be pushed back, Warren said to BBC. Hopefully that it will not be the case. It depends on how it heals. If it's okay, it won't be a problem. It's not just the fight, it's the training and sparring. He has to be 100% right. Okay, now, I look at this as protocol, you know, it's, it's smart, it's unfortunate, now mind you, it's unfortunate, because we have um, an anticipated fight, the fight was back and forth through most of this year, you had Tyson Fury, you know, was going to sign a fight with, uh, Deontay Wilder for 50-50 of whatever the revenue was. He dropped that completely. Signs with ESPN. Then, you know, then counter offers Deontay Wilder. He turns that down, understandably. Then he agrees to a diamond belt with, with Dillian White. And it, it's been a lot of back and forth. Now they're supposed to fight again. Would so have you, he has one of the toughest fights that he had in a very long time, right? Welcome back to heavyweight boxing, Tyson Fury. You know, and he got cut with two bad cuts in his eye, as we know. Um, and <clears throat> we know now they're waiting for the plastic surgeon to come and stitch the eye. The cut hampered his performance, but at the end of the day, he prevailed. He will have micro surgery on the cuts due to one above the eye and one above the lid. See, it's difficult if you get cut, if you know anything about cuts. If you get sliced twice, like parallel, and it was kind of like that, you know, they would have to do, uh, have to have a, uh, sew it in a totally different method, okay? Because a lot of times when they stitch it, they move the skin over in order to sew it. Well, if you got two cuts, you know, that's going to be rather difficult. So it's the way the cuts were, you know? Um, I think about uh, last year when uh, I, I had, I got a, I was in a bad uh, boat accident, right? So it was on the lake and I was feeding the tube on the, um, we were on a barge and then we had a tube, you know, and people were back behind the tube and the rope caught behind my leg as someone accelerated the boat and it wrapped around my leg, snatching me out in the water, but it tore all of my back under my knee. Well, the problem was they couldn't stitch the shit because where it was, it was right in the fold of my, uh, of, of my leg. So that's what I thought about in reference to this, you know, it's a shitty area, so it has to heal, you know, and if it doesn't heal, it has to be pushed back. What do you do? You know, I mean, look at it this way. Yes, it's unfortunate, but do you want once again, a Tyson Fury that's not ready, that's not 100%, you know? And then let, let's let's look at it like this. This could have happened in training. So, hey, at least it happened in a fight, actually him fighting someone, right? And that just goes to show you why you shouldn't take easy, so-called easy fights because you don't know how these easy fights will be will come out. You don't know the outcome whatsoever. And this was a hard, difficult fight for him. He had to fight. And it wasn't the fact that Wallen was just this skilled. It was the fact that he had shit leaking all out of his eye, into his eye, and it was it was messing up his vision. I know he felt like Ali and Sonny Liston won. <laughs> you know what I mean? Partially, you know, Petty Wop or somebody like that. So um, it was a difficult fight for him. You know, that's why this boxing game shouldn't, there shouldn't be any room for cherry picks. There shouldn't be any room for soft touches. There shouldn't be any room for that because it doesn't matter who you go in the ring with. You're going in there with a guy with boxing gloves just like you. He might not be as skilled. He might be more skilled. He might punch harder. He might be quicker. You don't know. You're still having to trade leather with this guy and anything can happen. A headbutt, 
elbow, you know, all types of things could happen in the ring, people. Death, <laughs> right? So, yeah, this has to be taken care of. So we don't want him going in there at 65, 70%. He gets in there with, with, with Deontay Wilder and ain't healed. And then he takes a cut in his second round. You know, that'll fuck everything up. You know what I mean? We don't want that. We don't want this fight to be that way. If it has to be pushed back, okay, it has to be pushed back. Now, Deontay Wilder, speaking of that, he has to do his his portion because he has to fight Luis King Kong Ortiz, and we don't know how that fight will go. You know, maybe Ortiz will, uh, will, will, will make adjustments, right? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at this how it is, and... With Tyson Fury, I think that he was in an unfortunate fight, but he made it through. And I know people are going to be pissed about this, but it has to be done. You know, you don't never want to fight a person at 70%. I don't care how much you think of an easy fight. If you have any type of integrity, you wouldn't want to fight anyone that's not 100%. So it has to heal. Okay, so... You know, um, just giving you guys an update on that. Uh, I hope it's on time, but it's not at the expense of rushing it because we've seen what happens when a fighter is not 100%. We we know that this year. I don't have to say any names. If you don't come in 100% in a fight, bad things can happen. So it's, and we learn, the people learn from other people's mistakes. And I think Tyson Fury learned you know, from other people's mistakes that you have to be 100% ready. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Tyson Fury's plastic surgery. Will he be ready? You know, will that fight happen on time? Will it be pushed back? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.